Hello, and welcome to Rose Play, Season 19, Episode 26. As always, I'm your host, Orin Moon Rose, and today we're continuing the Let's Play of Marvel Spider-Man on the Ultimate Difficulty. So last time we finished up all the Demon Bases, and now we just gotta go ahead and head to Feast while listening today to JJ. Special callers breaking important news right here, because where else? Mayor Osborne. Thanks for calling in. He called? Oh, thank you, Jonah. Oh. Publishing the bugle, you were always... No. Happy. Tough, sure, but fair. Well, that's my job, Mr. Mayor. All I have is my integrity, and I won't compromise it for anyone. Now, what's this mm -hmm. crucial breaking news you're revealing for the first time anywhere on my show? Well, after the brutal, cowardly city hall bombing that almost claimed my life, it's clear... Our understaffed police department needs help. And I want to reassure the people of New York that I... Oh, I think I broke my knees. Aha! I said it! You all heard me say we needed this. Are you using my idea of bringing in cops from Lake Placid? Ah, no. Though that was a fine idea. No, this would be a security contractor, much like the ones our military uses to assist our troops overseas. I can't name it until the contracts are signed, but their qualifications are impeccable. Well, that sounds terrific, Mr. Mayor. Though, of course, I'll have to reserve my tough but fair final judgment until I have all the facts. Yeah, they're dead. I'd expect nothing less. And let me stress, this is in no way replacing our brave officers of you the sure? law. Just augmenting them in a way that cuts through the red tape and gets results. And results are what we want. You know, I'm glad you're here. So I can share my theory on how Spider-Man may well be working with the demons. I gotta go now, bye. Fascinating theory it is, I'm sure. But my doctors are advising me to get... He doesn't want to get bad standings for people who like Spider-Man. He wants those votes. Oh, of course. Thank you for calling in, Mr. Mayor. My lines are open for you anytime. Jared, did you hear? Tough, but fair! That's our new slogan. God. I don't care! Who else is using it? Don't care. Yeah, I bet you're not. And feast we go. All right. Is it raining out? Huh. Peter. My boy. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? Uh. I am. Me. Oh but my I god, I was right. More help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I'm guessing it was me. It helped to uh, stay busy. It might help him too. Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll I got on call. speed dial. I didn't need it. From Mr. Lee, have you? No. Why? Just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Oh, you you don't have to. I know. I, I just want, want to. to. Yep, that seems about right. I should check out Lee's office. Need help with those veggies? I learned a long time ago, you're more help staying out of the kitchen than in it. That is not false. Hey, oh. I heard you had oh, hi. home for the bombing. You okay? Yeah, sure. Just a little banged up. How are you doing? Not bad. Your aunt's been helping me with my interview skills. I don't know. I'm not sure I'm cut out for the nine to five. It's a start. I know I've had my share of career hurdles, but you never know until you try. Give it a shot. I didn't see this before. How many pieces is it? One of three. Oh, this is going to be fun to find, isn't it? I do bet it's going to be all around, though. I guess.
guess let's check the other way first, huh? God, grant me some strength. Blessings to you, then? Wait, could it be in here? No. Wait, what's in here, though? What did I just... Everyone feels hopeless at some point. Oh. Just to know there's somebody willing to listen. I was like, what, you smoking Willis? I don't feel safe anymore. People don't realize how many kids are homeless. One in 30. And too many shelters aren't equipped to care for them. Sad. Huh. Maybe it's upstairs. I can't believe that there'd be a spill downstairs. I heard the deputy mayor was brainwashed. He probably was. They were saying something about corruption. All right, there's two. I don't know what this is accomplishing, but okay. Huh. There it is. I was like, where is this third one? I can't believe it'd be in the gymnasium. You want to know what's actually junk and, and homeless people's stuff? Awesome. Now all that's clean. For what reason? I have no idea. I don't even know if that's percentage towards the end of the game, but, you know, I wanted to help out, I suppose. <gasps> this office is locked. How do I get in there? Hmm. Quietly. I was going to say spiderly, but... Really, nobody saw that. Never seen that room before. Hmm. Interesting. Whoa, what the... There. High voltage lines. What needs this much power? I understand, but the account number is in Mr. Lee's office, which is inaccessible. I will Won't be for long. That information. No, I don't know when that will be. Never. What would Ben do? Break in? room I saw from the crawl space. It should be right on the other side of the shrine. Lee's parents. Looks like there's a keyhole in the frame. Ah, okay. I was like, Lee's what? Lee's parents abandoned him. Why build a shrine to the people who threw you away? Huh. The shrine in the photo is missing the picture. Yeah, it is. All right. Looks like this note is for May. Oh, well, he did have some sort of a good heart then at least. This is the ghost story Lee's father read to him. About a demon that could only be mastered through balance. Hmm. Oh, I thought there was a little bit more. I was like, what? Lee's journal. Hey, look, a key. Bet this fits the lock in the portrait. Okay, so looks like more stuff. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Lee sounds conflicted. Almost like he didn't want to head down this path. Maybe he didn't. Hmm. Some kind of puzzle lock. Oh, God. That seems right. Oh, 
I see. All right. Oh, I see. That's fine, but I gotta get this right. Okay. What am I missing? That's not good. Yes. Ha ha! I just had to work on it, I guess. Whoa. I mean, I knew what I was kind of trying to make, but. What are you hiding, Lee? Well, that's what we plan to find out. Obsessed with masks. Yeah, he is. Like he's giving his powers to the others. I mean, yeah, we sort of did figure that one out there, buddy. Leslie imbue these with his power. Bioelectric induction? A compressed phase shift? Maybe. Creepy. Yeah, it is. What the? Man, interesting. I can feel my power growing. Feeding off my anger. Father would say I've lost the path of balance that he could never understand. The only way to fight a monster is to become a monster. Gone. So cliche, but okay. Hmm. Hey, the folder. The found at the auction house. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. Go figure. It's a burn room, wired to destroy evidence. One more. Oh. What's going on? Okay, one more. I see. I see now. I was confused. Like what? The police had found this. Or May. Don't want to think of barbecue. Now, how do I get out of here? You don't. Well, never mind. You do. That'd be bad. <sighs> Hello, Peter. Uh, so he knows something. I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Yes. Martin, you're back. 
Let me get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. And an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. Well, what matters is you are both safe. Amen. But the bombers are still out there. Who knows what they've planned next? I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. I feel like that's a threat. Well, I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done. I feel like that's a big threat. Hmm. Yeah, he knows that we found something. I don't know if he knows we're Spider-Man, but I'm... Wait, wait, wait! Radio. Yeah, gain us that level. I finally got your evidence. Head to Superior. the in Chinatown. What about Health and a nice lady named May Parker, and some really Melee. weird stuff hidden in Lee's office. But listen, he's got another attack planned. Where? When? Still working on that, but I think he's going to use something called Devil's Breath. Sounds destructive. What is it? A substance created by Oscorp. Yeah, we don't know much right now. I have a folder full of info on it. I'm holding on to it for now. I'll send copies as soon as I can. <sighs> okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. Hmm. MJ, hey. Just checking in. Peter, hey. Can I call you back? I think you'll want to hear this. Wait, why are you whispering? Just in the middle of something. Uh huh. Catch up over dinner. Oh, sure. I'll even cook. Cool. See ya. Wait. Remember how you told me about Lee's corrupting touch? I think I just saw it in action. How? Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. Thing is, they had glowing eyes. And I remembered Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for Lee? Uh, it's all connected. There's more. But I guess we'll talk about it at dinner. Yeah. What are you doing, Dinner. MJ? <sighs> what should I cook? Oh, so there's like no mission, is there? I mean, I don't think anything is going on right now. So I guess we'll just uh, bum around New York. Oh, hi, Doctor. How are oh. You? Exciting news. Come by the lab. Uh, like now? This is my defining moment. Can't wait to show you. Cool. Um, I've got dinner plans. Can I come by later? Dinner can wait. You need to see this, Peter. Uh, okay. Be right there. Wonder if this means I have a job again. Yes, I Sounds can stop it. by. Just for a minute. All right. Well, I guess we're heading for there then because I don't see any other missions going on. What are we at anyway? 56% night. Oh no. Breaking news just in. My sources tell me the police are now looking at the demons as the primary suspects in the city hall bomb. If that is in fact the case, I retract what I said about Spider-Man not being to blame. Oh my be, god. At the very least, partially responsible. Because the reckless manner in which Wilson Fisk was brought down directly created the void the demons poured into. All right, we'll wait. Poison they are. Actions have consequences, my friends. Oh boy. That is something Spider-Man has never understood. With great power comes great responsibility, and Jay Jonah, my bud.
enter the lab. Well, let's see what's going on. Hey, doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Wow. All right. Look at all this new stuff. There's new stuff? Really? No, I know it's new stuff. All right, we'll check this box. The garage for yep. Getting closer to be done with this too. Doc's messing around with superconductors. Nice. Nice. How does this one work? No. That doesn't work, does this? It does. Nice. That was just accidental then very <sighs> cool complex oxide ceramic perfect type 2 superconductor it'll run hot but maybe good for an outboard controller some kind of polymer Uh, it doesn't work. I feel like that wasn't it either. Well, this ought to be very interesting. Let's see. Bam. Nope. All right. Bingo. Just took a little bit of science. A self-healing polymer. This stuff will survive almost anything. Aha, another recording. We've been focused on limb replacement. Connecting nerves at severed extremities, replicating the function of lost appendages. But what if instead we gave people something they'd never seen? Megan? Something straight from the mind. Unchain all of us from the bodies we've been born with and instead unleash the awesome power of our minds. Mm. Sounds like great power comes corruption. In some sad, sick way. The city hall attack may have done some good. How? Norman's approval ratings are sinking. The people are starting to realize their beloved mayor only cares about himself. Sometimes it takes a tragedy to wake people up to the truth. To finally see the monster they themselves elected. Wish Doc wouldn't fixate on Norman like this. Yeah, definitely not healthy. Hmm. Interesting method of structural reinforcement. Why the same? Make better than before. Well, I can't do those yet. Son of a gun. 
Oh, this wasn't here before. Doc let me store things here after the whole eviction thing. Oh, Peter! I noticed you keep track of Spider-Man's foes. Smart. Easier to craft countermeasures that way. Last time I fought Scorpion, he asked if I knew what my skull looked like from the inside. Then offered to show me. Come oh, now. Will Scorpion sing or sting? Gonna miss that humorless grimace. Fisk Crusader or Criminal? Criminal. Huh. Electro was the first legit super-powered villain I fought. Electro unplugged, go inside his sci-fi cell in the rap. Suits. Electro was a big change. Big change. Alright, Rhino Rampage Roadblock. Tank. Rhino's racked up enough property damage to destroy Manhattan three times over. Ouch. And Vulture Squawk. Vulture might be the smartest guy on this claim. Frame That's up, blames wall crawler. Life sentences, of course, but still pretty brainy. Hmm. I, I do want to go there, but first I want to see if there's any more. Nope. Okay. That's fine. That's cool. Let's get this story continued Did going. Let's finish whatever. Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time Yeah. Huh. You've been busy. Just getting started. You know, until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were when we can make them better? Okay, I think that should do it. Oh boy. You ready? Nope. Everything okay? Uh, okay. This is all your fault, Norman. You son of a... Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. I can relate. I mean, Otto seemed to like it. It was a good joke, Parker. Yay! It was a good a joke. Reaction on my part. No, don't worry. Why don't you take a break? I'll uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait. You were at Oscorp when it started? I mean, the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. Oscorp. Oscorp. I get it. It is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Oh good, looks like I gotta fix this up too then. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short. Not a problem. Oh. Huh. No good. Gotta reroute this circuit.
All right. There we go. Just had to try really hard. Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? Did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. You sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? <laughs> to changing the world. Nice. Missed call from MJ. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back. Oh, that I don't doubt. Doc really does want to imagine a better version of man. Wait, what is this Advanced one now? Idea mechanics. Uh... Doctor, are you sure it's a good idea to accept grants from AIM? AIM! Shady. Yeah, they are. Peter, once we're on our feet, we'll reevaluate our funding partners. I know aim. Yeah, because this is all the. Yep. Can I do this at least now? Yes. Anything new? Or are we good to go? Or, oh my god. Alright, well, this is what's gonna make the episode long. Controller for the micro cables Doc's been theorizing. Uh-oh. All right, so if we replace this with three. Bingo! Not too awesome. bad. So much more versatile than traditional fixed axis designs. Simple AI that'll improve the prosthetics functionality over time. Welcome to the future. No, there's no way we can do that. It's got to be this. Yeah, we'll fix that in a sec.
Bingo. Now the prosthetic has a tiny brain. Cool. Is that a good yeah, thing? No, yeah, I was just going to say, I don't, I don't feel like that's a good thing, Peter. Doc dove right in with the intracranial interface. All right. No. Yeah, 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 I got it. That's seven. Dang. That's five. Well, this one's very interesting, isn't it? I wonder... No, I couldn't move that, could I? Could I... Skip one? Good. Revolutionary, but not a hundred percent stable. We need to refine this design. All right, awesome. Let's What's leave. That? What's what? I see nothing, Parker. Awesome. Yeah, let's take this hey, call from MJ. Hey, sorry call. We still on for dinner? Dinner? Oh, yeah. I was calling you about something else, but... Yeah, we should talk over dinner. Offer still stands for me to come over and cook. Oh, really? No, thank oh, you. I like to take risks. <laughs> oh, God. I'm still out, but I'll grab some stuff at the store and let you know when I'm home. Okay, talk soon. All right, dinner at MJ's. Low expectations. It'll be hard to screw this one up. And you'll find so a way. Just freelance for a while until she calls. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and save. Uh, we will go ahead and leave it here for this episode. And I still don't think there's anything going on with missions. So if that's the case. When we come back, we'll freelance and do the next main mission at about 58%. That's not bad. So until next episode, remember, keep gaming. Never give up. And if you're going to make a joke, make sure it's good. Don't do a meme.